Friday, y'all. We have all the chicken today. I am on day, I don't even know what, of our freezer challenge. I will have 25 meals made after today. I'm super excited. I have oodles of chicken. We got a lot of chicken here, y'all. Lots and lots of chicken. I also have, I gotta make sure I put these back in the right places. We're gonna deal with all the chicken today with all the recipes we're making. I've got my big cards. I've got my baby cards all ready to go for my freezer meals. The meals are so stinking good. They are so good. So if you struggle with keeping everything you need for your family, together as far as cooking dinner, y'all, you need these in your life. You can click the link in the video to order the physical cards. If you want them set, you can get the PDF. You're gonna want the physical set. I'm just telling you, I don't think we'll have enough stock through the weekend to order those suckers today because we are so low on stock right now. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. and won't come back till September. Click the link in the video if you're interested. Tell me if you're joining me. We are gonna put these suckers, I'm starting with dessert today because we're gonna put these in the oven um, and then we will be able to see them come out live, which I think is super exciting. So these are the Simple Sopapilla Cheesecake Bars. And I'm gonna try, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I've got two sticks of cream cheese that is softened. I'm gonna add in one egg, one and a half cup sugar, which now I'm like questioning which one was the right size cup. So now I'm gonna mess this up. Actually, that was it. I know exactly what that was. One and a half cup sugar. I believe this is it. We'll make sure it's right before I'll measure it out. Tell me as you're hopping on, are you making these meals for your family? Have you loved them? We have loved them. I am so excited. Hi, Debbie. I'm so glad you're here today, y'all. I love seeing you guys on in the morning. I'm kind of... I'm gonna be a little bit sad next week when we're not doing freezer meals because I've enjoyed doing them with you, but I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> my kitchen needs a very good nap after this craziness. Okay, so I'm mixing in together two cups, two sticks of cream cheese. You can use lower fat, reduced fat will work fine. Oh y'all, how happy is that? Thank you so much, Rachel. I love this apron too. Hi, Becky. Hi, Deborah. Don't forget, guys. Also, hit the sprinkle button and let somebody know about this. If you do that, we will enter you to win a $10 Amazon gift card. So hit that sprinkle button for sure. And let a friend know if you struggle with menu planning, this is going to be just for you. I'm going to also add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm just going to guesstimate that. There we go. What's fun is we're gonna put these in the oven now and I think you guys will be able to see me pull them out of the oven at the end. Here's my recipe card. I need to keep it so I can see it. Okay, there we go. Hi, Tammy, who's making these? You haven't caught me live in a while. Catherine, I am so glad you're here this morning and you're catching me live. That is so fun. Y'all, these simple sofa pia bars are a big hit with my family. They are one of their favorites and they're super easy. You're gonna take some crescent roll dough. We're gonna flatten it out a bit. Anytime you have cream cheese and um, crescent roll dough, I don't think you can really mess it up, right? And sugar and honey. Well, not, well yeah, you're gonna serve it with some honey over top. And you know what? I bet I was supposed to spray. No, maybe I'm not supposed to spray. Good. I don't like spraying it, honestly. So I'm going to press these suckers together right there. I love doing this because it makes me feel like I'm like super fancy and I know what I'm doing over here with all my pastry. And the truth is all I did was open up a dollar ninety-nine, a 99 cent jar of crescent roll dough. I use the Kroger brand. Works great. Don't spend money on full price stuff if you don't need it. Okay, we're going to now add in just make sure. So I'm reading my card right here. You can get the cards and everything by clicking the link in the video. Um, spread over the dough. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna spread this over the dough. I'm gonna start to make sure it all got blended well. Definitely have your cream cheese soften because that'll make it go way easier. Oh, y'all, how many of you wish you were here with me right now? So yummy. So we're making dessert first. After this, we are gonna go ahead and make five more recipes. We are making some of my favorite, lots of chicken recipes today. We're doing hot chicken salad, chicken cordon bleu bake, chicken parmesan, pork tenderloin, and I gotta remember the fifth one, ham and Swiss crescent bake. 
So this is like a big day and all the chicken. And I'm excited. The nice thing about this is you're going to use a bunch of the same ingredients over and over. So when you're making meals, you're not wasting anything and everything goes to good use and you're using your time wisely. Okay. So that's that one. Got another roll of crescent dough. Getting all the supplies for the freezer meal. Peg, you're getting the supplies. I'm so excited. Guys, tell me if you're joining me. And if you're new, would you say hello to me and tell me you're new so I can say hello to you? I am excited that you're here today. We are the happiest bunch of people on the internet. These are the best menu plans on the internet for sure. There's the cards. Um, because basically we send you everything you need so that when you're stressing over dinner, you don't have to pull out your phone, download a PDF. We'll just send you everything. Now you can order just the PDF if you just want the PDF, but we'll send you everything to hopefully make your life a little bit easier and better, which is one of my favorite things on the planet. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mitzi. Hi. Oh, Dreama, you are new. I love your name, Dreama. What a sweet name. Hi, Tara. Hi, you're new here in Virginia. Good morning. Hi, Tina. I'm so glad y'all are here this morning. You guys, if you've never done freezer cooking before, I did it, started it a few years ago, and I was just hooked. And these are the yummiest freezer meals you will ever eat. They are so darn good. They are just yumminess. Okay, I'm going to try to get that flattened out. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, it's going to all cook together probably, but you know, we'll try. Now I'm going to sprinkle on the melted butter and then we're going to add some cinnamon sugar. Okay, so here's some melted butter and we're just going to pour it right over everything right there. My family's going to get dinner and dessert tonight. I am about over dessert. I'm going to be 9 million pounds by the time this whole thing is over, but it has been worth it and lovely. Now I'm adding in a teaspoon, tablespoon of cinnamon. Looks like I'm very low on cinnamon, y'all. Say a prayer over my cinnamon. That's about a half. I think we can get it to the rest. I think I have another container in there. Okay, that's going to be fine. Here we go. Mixing up the cinnamon sugar, and we're going to sprinkle over the top. How many of you guys have made this one yet? Who's made the simple Tosopias bars? Amber, you are here and you're enjoying the freezer meals. Y'all, so many folks. We have had so many folks order. We are down to like our very last, like I think we might have 200 left. Um, so we are, once they're gone, they're gone till September. So I'm hoping that they sell fast because I don't wanna have to worry about shipping them to you, but I would love to ship them to you today if you order one. So go ahead and snag yours. Um, I promise other menu plans on the internet cost like way the same amount of money and don't ship everything to you. So this is just a fun little added bonus. Okay, here's our bars, y'all. I'm gonna go pop these suckers in the oven and then we'll start our next recipe. Thank you for sprinkling. That one cooks 30 minutes at 350. Let me say hello to you guys. Hi, Susan and Hopestream. They are so yummy. I know. They really are so yummy. They're so good. Love it. Hi, Melanie. I'm excited y'all are here. Okay. This now, this is the non-healthy cooking day, okay? So let me just preface this right now and tell you. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some words. This is good food. Your family is gonna be so happy. This is not our healthy cooking day. This is our Mama's gonna be the best rock star mama. Are you ready for the unhealthiness going on? Just be prepared, because I'm a little bit afraid of the comments I'm gonna get with what I'm about to do. This is crazy. This is just crazy. My friend Sheree comes up with these recipe ideas, and then I listen to her. Um, one of the things that we include if you order is our freezer bag stands. So you get two of these. So I'm actually gonna do this because I think I'm gonna need a big freezer bag for this project. Okay, y'all are just gonna laugh at me as I do this. I can't even believe I'm gonna do this this way. I've got my bag ready. This one calls for potato chips as your crust. Tell me, I've done Ritzy crackers. My father-in-law always called them the Ritzy crackers. So I've always done the Ritzy cracker cr crumb test, tr ugh, crumb crust. I have never done this, but I, you know what? I'm gonna cut the celery and onions first. I'm gonna pretend that I'm healthy. I'm coming back to that. Okay, so here's my recipe right here. Okay. Nope, that's not my recipe. My recipe is right here. It's this is hot chicken salad. I am so excited about this. It calls for four cups of celery chopped and a quarter cup of onion. So I'm using my handy dandy. I wish I could find this thing for you guys on Amazon. It's the best thing ever. 
Look at that. I just chopped my celery. Lickety split. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my, actually I chopped my onion lickety split. I will now chop my celery. I'm going to go fast with this as well. It calls for two cups of celery chopped. And the bad thing is I just lost my, I'm going to have a place that I can put this down and that's not actually going to work. Hang on. I did that wrong completely. Let's put this in first. There we go, girls. Okay, now we're gonna throw these suckers in. This is the best little chopper, and I wish they would sell. I don't know why Black & Decker stopped making them. There we go. Look at that chopped celery. Chopped fine in a second. Got one little decent sized chunk in there I'll pull out. I'm doing this because my husband doesn't really love celery. But if he doesn't really see it, he's a little bit less likely to complain. I didn't get that in there right. Hang on, girls. I maybe should not have done this this way. Yeah. I should have chopped this ahead, but I thought y'all would have fun seeing my chopper. But now I gotta get it all chopped, so. Here we go. I'm slowing down. So many folks have told me, Laurie, please slow down. I am terrified when I do Facebook Live. So I don't slow down because I'm scared out of my mind. And I cannot get this thing in its spot. Ugh. Okay, next time, note to self, I'm gonna do my pre-prepping ahead. I thought, oh, this will be so good for them to get to see me use this thing. But then, I can't get my blade on right. Okay, the trick is the blade has to be way down there. Clearly, I don't know how to do it. What I'm gonna do to try to save us some time here. So I'm gonna do this. There we go. Let's see how it does. Say a little prayer, y'all, right now that this does it. It is not gonna do it. For real, for real. Let's try this. This is funny. This is just because y'all are here. I use this thing all the time and it always works and I do not want to sit here and chop this up. I think it's because of this thing, let's try it like this. I <laughs> have celery everywhere. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more in, I think. <laughs> let's try it. There we go. Okay, here we go y'all. I'm gonna add a little bit more in. I think we got this now. I hope, I hope. Let's see. Okay, that's all the celery we're gonna do today. Woohoo! I got the celery done, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're mixing together some onion and some celery. I'm gonna give this a quick rinse. I was gonna use this to crush up the potato chips, but I think I'm gonna make an executive decision that I'm changing my plan of attack here. So hang on. Okay, so we've got four cups of cooked chicken. So I've already got my chicken cooked up. In a large bowl, I'm gonna to mix together the cream of chicken soup, some mayonnaise. Y'all, this is not health food. Do not holler at me if you're saying this is terribly unhealthy. You're right, this is just good food. Eat it with a big fat salad, eat a ton of salad and a little bit of this and your family's gonna be happy. People ask me all the time how I kind of watch my weight and that's what I do, is I make food that's yummy. We always eat a big salad and we seem to do okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add in one and a tablespoon lemon juice, one and a half tablespoons lemon juice, um, a teaspoon of salt, Maybe a little extra salt. And we've got our two cups celery, our onion. We're doing one cup slivered almonds. I'm gonna mix this all together. I've got my baby card. I've got my mama card here with all the recipes. You can snag those if you're interested. Okay, we got that all done. We're gonna add in about four cups of chicken breast. There we go. Oh, y'all. I am, if my family doesn't eat this, I won't even care because I am so darn excited. I was trying to think if this could possibly be keto. Actually, y'all, how many of you guys do keto? This is a healthy recipe. Okay, you guys, this is a healthy recipe if you're a keto eater. Does, isn't that healthy? It's got chicken, 
I don't know. Cream of chicken probably has some carbs in it. Let me see. I'm checking for you. Uh, can you get a carb? Do they make a carb-free cream and chicken soup or could you make it at home without carbs? It has nine carbs in it. So this could almost be healthy if you're eating low carb. I can't even believe that because it's mayonnaise, chicken, onion, lemon juice, salt, celery, almonds, cheddar cheese. Skip the, chip, the potato chips at the end and you just made yourself a keto meal, y'all. I didn't even know I was being healthy. I'm secretly a keto, not really. <laughs> I can't lie. This is slightly keto-ish. Somebody needs to modify this to make it a keto recipe because it totally is. I didn't even think about that because chicken salad is keto. So that makes sense. Just don't add the cheese. The, um, you could add slivered almonds instead of potato chips at the end. Oh, y'all. How many keto mamas are just, have I just told, like sold on this menu plan? And guys, the recipes are not keto. So, I mean, the pork tenderloin is keto-ish today. You could make that one a keto recipe, but nothing else is. So I'm not going to lie to you. I don't eat, I eat low carb two days a week. So I kind of do like carb cycling. But anyways, I'm excited that I just found y'all a keto meal and didn't even mean to. Okay, so we've got this pressed down. Now we're gonna add on two cups of cheddar cheese. I cannot wait to make this one. And here's the crazy part, y'all, right here. You need two cups of potato chips. Again, if you're doing keto, please skip the potato chips. I, does anybody know if you can freeze potato chips? I don't know if you can. So I'm just gonna stick these in my pantry and say, don't eat these until then. But you need, you need, where's my card? Hang on y'all, where'd my card go? You need two cups of crushed potato chips, which I bet that's gonna crush down. We need a little bit more than that. Can I freeze my potato chips? That's the question of the day. Okay, y'all, here we go. What about the rest of the chicken? The rest of the chicken is for the next recipe. Amazon has the Black & Decker. They do have it. Can, you can freeze the potato chips. You can make your own cream and chicken soup. No, you freeze chips all the time. Lynn says she freezes chip, and I, Lynn, I think you're in Madison. I think I know you, Lynn. I do know you. I trust Lynn because I've met her in real life, and she would not steer me wrong. So I'm gonna freeze these suckers. Lynn, you just made my day. Y'all think that's two cups? Caroline, I just made a keto meal. I'm excited. Okay, there we go, y'all. I am excited about this one. I'm gonna take some plastic wrap. I just having a really hard time opening. Could you get me another plastic wrap? That one's not working. Can you get that for me, please? My daughter's here. Um, that's not gonna work. I did it the wrong way. Thank you. She just did it perfectly because she's awesome. I'm excited this could be keto and would be so yummy. Oh, and then can you run and go get me the tape from my office? I'm sorry. The big tape thing. Actually, it might be here somewhere. Okay, there we go. I've got my recipe done. I've got my baby card that I'm gonna to take to the front. I'm gonna add the, the chips right there and I could do a smaller bag for sure, but I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna just do that. And then we'll tape that all together. One meal done, praise the Lord. Let's move on to some chicken cordon blue bake. Again, this one, another not so healthy meal. This is the unhealthy day at the Passionate Penny Pincher Recipe House. Um, but they're gonna taste so darn good. This one calls for four cups. So the rest of that chicken is gonna go into this recipe. And I honestly wish I had put a little bit more into that one. We're good though. I'm whisking together a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. It's um, 10 ounce can cream of chicken soup. A half a cup of milk. And now I'm gonna take the rest of my chicken And this is probably, I really should have made this one. I should have probably used a little bit more chicken in that, but we're gonna be fine. Okay, there's my chicken. And now what I'm gonna do is, let's pull the right card up. I've already prepared my stuffing mix. So this is stuffing mix. 
Whisk together soup and milk, place cooked chicken in pan, layer with, and layer with ham, my ham over here. So this is chicken cordon blue bait. I'm gonna layer it with my ham. And if you can imagine, this is basically like, if you've had chicken cordon bleu, you know you take ham and Swiss cheese and um, breading, and we're gonna use um, just store-bought dressing mix as our breading, so it's super easy. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make sure I read this right, place cooked chicken in pan, layer with ham, then Swiss cheese. Okay, so next this is our Swiss cheese layer. It's almost like a lasagna, if you can imagine that. Then we're gonna add our cheddar cheese layer, a cup of cheddar cheese. Then we're gonna add um, let's see, cheddar cheese. soup mix. We're going to pour this over. Y'all, I've read these directions 9,700 times and I've made all these before, but I swear I have to reread them because I'm afraid I'll mess up. And then we're going to take this little bit. I'm going to spread this around just a little bit more because I didn't do a very good job sprinkling over there. Also guys, if you can hit the sprinkle button and let a friend know or hit the S-H-A-R-E button, I would love that. We will hit enter you to win a $10 Amazon gift card. Then we're going to add our stove top and if you're interested in any of the recipes i'm doing if you'd like to click the link in the video you can snag them as well i am so excited about this one y'all like this is the one i actually was going to make this for dinner tonight and then i realized that my fridge is stuffed with food and i need to get rid of what's in my fridge so i'm actually just gonna use my hands this needs to be crumbled i went ahead so i've already prepared the stuffing mix the way it says on the can which is to add a little bit of um butter and some water so I already prepared it using that. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, this is mixed up and I'm just crumbling from this morning whenever I made it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna use every bit of that goodness right there. Stick these in here. You know, I washed all the butter off my crazy hands, y'all. What do you think about that? Oh my goodness. So I've got my, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the last one. And I'm gonna do, this one I feel like is gonna be the winner. I think my family is gonna go nuts when I make this for dinner. I am really excited about this one um, because they all love, they all love um, dressing and they all love chicken. So it's a pretty safe bet for sure on this one. Okay. So there we go. Next up, two meals done. Oh, and I got my baby card and I will tape that on in a second. We're scooching down the row. We're gonna go ahead and make chicken Parmesan and I'm gonna try to say hi to y'all real fast. Okay, phew, thank you for sprinkling. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh my goodness, Lori and Erna, thank you for sharing and doing everything else. I appreciate you guys a ton. Like they say, check under the foil, yes. Check on the under the foil and put the recipe card there. That's a good idea too. Okay doing next up is the easy chicken parmesan how yummy does that look this one is so easy don't forget the cheese on top i think I put the, oh thank you thank you thank you there was more cheese to go on top of that one thank you Kristen. i could hug your neck right now hang on i'm gonna go back and reread my directions here i knew that wasn't right Kristen. okay so on the card if i had read it it said sprinkle with remaining cheese. So I knew I had that extra cheese. I was like, I know I'm not supposed to have that much cheese. Okay, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kristen. This is one cheesy yumminess. If you can make homemade um, dressing that was keto, you could actually turn that one into a keto meal as well. Okay, there we go. Phew, we're gonna scooch on over here. Thank you, Kristen, for saving me. I could hug your neck this morning because Okay, I'm gonna slow down and take a deep breath and try not to be nervous like I always am. Easy chicken parmesan is what we're making next. We're gonna go ahead and we've got five cups of diced chicken. I'm gonna spray this sucker with foil. 
spray my pan. I'm gonna add place chicken in the bottom of the pan. This is easy. Now, I did a bunch of rotisserie chickens to cut my chick to make my chicken. You have to have a bunch, a lot of chicken today. So I bought a bunch of rotisserie chickens. I've heard you can buy the rotisserie chicken at Costco that's already pre-done and it's amazing. Um, I just used what I had. Oh my gosh, that dessert is smelling amazing. I gotta slow down so that you guys get to see it. Um, okay, there's that. We're gonna pour the spaghetti over top and mix to combine, making the chicken dish thoroughly. Okay, she says we're supposed to mix this. So I'm gonna mix this up so that my chicken is combined with the sauce. So we wanna make it so that our, so it's, our chicken is all saucy. Y'all got some saucy chicken over there. We're gonna make our saucy chicken go. There we go, excitingness. Now I'm gonna sprinkle mozzarella on top. And it's two cups of mozzarella. I'm just gonna add this in. I'm gonna make sure. Y'all, I don't want this little chicken to get stuck without any sauce on it. Let's just double check it. Okay, now I'm gonna add all the mozzarella on. You guys, I am excited. Don't be nervous, your friends. I know, why do I get nervous? It's because it's very weird to have people come into your home when you're making freezer. It's weird to come, Facebook Live is just weird. Let's just be honest, y'all. The whole concept of what we do is ridiculous. But I also know when I watched my friend Shree make a bunch of meals the other day with us, it felt like I was at home with a friend. So I hope y'all feel like that when we're here with you guys, that we are just friends here and just get over me being nervous. Okay. Mozzarella, then top with the Parmesan cheese. So I need a cup of Parmesan cheese. Y'all don't forget, you can click the link in the video to snag the recipe cards we're using. You are gonna love them, I just promise. You're gonna be so pleased, so, so pleased if you snag them. Okay, so that's about a little extra. Okay, so there's our Parmesan. In a small bowl, I'm gonna add together, this is my panko crumbs right here. Can y'all see them? Uh, give me a heart if you can see these panko up in the top corner right there. Um, what I'm gonna add together with this is, I need another teaspoon. I need one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, which is, I think is gonna be almost all of my garlic powder that I have. One and a half. This is two cups of panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs, if you haven't seen the panko breadcrumbs before, I'll show you. You could use any Italian breadcrumbs, but that's what they look like. That's what I got is the panko breadcrumbs. They say Japanese style, I hope that's okay. I think it's gonna be perfect. I know it's gonna be perfect. Okay, panko breadcrumbs, teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one and a half teaspoons garlic powder. And then what we're gonna do that I think is kind of interesting is right now we're gonna add in, I'm gonna use the spoon over here. Just gonna a fresh spoon. Because I'm gonna need this again right here. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of olive oil. And I thought I had a tablespoon out, apparently I didn't. So this is a half tablespoon. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. So it calls for three tablespoons. That was a half tablespoon, so that's why I used extra. I'm gonna just mix this up right here for y'all. You use them all the time. Yes, we feel like friends. Can you use these? Yes, you could absolutely use Italian style breadcrumbs. In fact, if that's what I had in my pantry, I would not go buy those special. And I'm not sure which are the cheapest. I didn't even check, which I should have, and it's so unlike me. But honestly, I've just been in survival mode this week. Okay, there we go, girls. We're gonna sprinkle these babies over the top. You will never buy stuff again. Now this one I would serve over spaghetti sauce with a side salad. Y'all tell me, what would you do to serve with this one? I would definitely do a side salad, big Caesar salad, serve some, make some spaghetti. Oh, your people are gonna be so happy when they have dinner. They are so yummy. Okay, that one is done. The simple sale papilla bar still have nine minutes. I've got, oh, I've still got, gosh, I still have two recipes to go. I am slow this morning, you guys. That's gonna give us plenty of time to pull out those bars at the end so you guys can see them. There we go, y'all. How's that look? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna take our press and seal. Someone said that, I do this to help prevent freezer burn. I've heard some people say that you don't need to do it to prevent freezer burn. If you're not worried about it, 
then don't. I just would hate to mess these recipes up because they're a lot of work to put together. So I'm not willing to chance it. Okay, so I've got my baby card, got my big card. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this one on if I can find my tape. If you're looking for a good tape to use, I just use some good old fashioned packing tape. Um, and the reason I put the cards in a, in a wrap is I don't want them to get anything on them. So there we go. So we got, so, so far we've got the easy chicken Parmesan, chicken cordon bleu bake, hot chicken salad. Y'all, three meals done. These are awesome to take on vacation. That's actually what we're planning to do with a bunch of them. And now we're scooting over here. I got all my ingredients right here for the grilled pork tenderloins. So we're gonna go ahead and start on those. I am using my very handy dandy freezer bag stands, which will send you two of those as well if you order. So go ahead and click the link in the video if you're interested in those. I've got two pork tenderloins, both are about a pound each. I'm gonna add in, I need a bowl, that's what I need. Here we go. Can y'all see what I'm working on here? There we go. Okay, so I've got a quarter cup of honey. I did not open this ahead of time, so y'all say a prayer that it opens, because never does anything. I, I, I keep wondering, am I getting old and my hands aren't working anymore, or are they just making everything so darn hard to open because they're afraid of packaging? Phew, we got through that one, not too bad. I'm just sticky. Okay, we are doing a quarter cup of honey. I am totally gonna guesstimate a quarter cup of honey. There we go. Because it is a pain to get honey in and out of a container and I can trust myself on that. Then we're gonna add in a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. This is teriyaki marinade, which will work great. Let me make sure that's right. Nope, it's supposed to be a third a cup. I knew that wasn't right. A third a cup. I'm gonna tell you a trick here. I only have a two-third cup measure, so it's a third a cup of teriyaki and a third a cup of soy sauce. So there's my two-thirds cups of each right there because I don't have enough extra things. Then I need a tablespoon of squeezed ginger. This is the squeezed ginger. It's just like the squeezed garlic. This is your grace to yourself in your life, in your home. This is just grace right here. Squeeze ginger, squeeze garlic. I'll do a quick squeeze of ginger, a quick squeeze of garlic, because it's three cloves of garlic, so I'm gonna do a generous squeeze of garlic. I love garlic, so I'm good with that. Then we're gonna do four teaspoons of ketchup. Um, again, I am gonna guesstimate, you guys. One, two, three, four. There we go, there's four teaspoons of ketchup. A teaspoon of cinnamon, which I told y'all I'm almost out of, so I'm gonna use every last bit of this. I'm on a mission, y'all, to get through this. Um, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And you guys, if you're new to cooking, you may, I am super like forgiving. Most food is pretty, pretty forgiving. So as long as you have a good idea, you don't have to sit and measure everything perfectly. If you're brand new, you might feel a little bit more comfortable doing that. Then we're gonna add in a, three tablespoons of brown sugar, which I forgot to get out. And I can't find, there we go. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. How do y'all feel? Do you guesstimate how much food you have or do you just like assume you have to keep it perfect? This is, these are really generous. <laughs> That's a lot of brown sugar. Now, if you were making this one keto, you could make this one keto if you skipped the brown sugar and the honey. You could probably sub with some more um, soy sauce and I don't know. Soy sauce I don't think has sugar in it but I bet teriyaki sauce does. Yeah, this one might be hard. I'm not sure. If you could use a bunch of soy sauce, a lot of times just marinating your meat is the most important thing. Okay, so I've got my pork tenderloins. Now listen, this is a very important thing with this recipe. Okay, for anybody watching, if you're doing these, when you do this at home, note that I have two bags. This is my bag for my two two-pound pork tenderloins. So I've got those in here already in my plastic bag. Can y'all see those? Give me a harder like if you can see those. Now what I'm doing is I've also got a separate smaller bag. And the reason is, when you go to make this, what you wanna do is you're gonna um, pour half of the marinade into the gallon bag 
and then the other half into the smaller bag. And the reason you're doing that is to keep the marinade so that it, you've got some sauce to cook with when you go to do it. This is one you can do on the grill. I wanna make sure I've got that good. You can do it on the, um, you can do it in the oven. We say to grill covered over indirect heat for 30 to 35 minutes. There we go. So I've got that all mixed. So now let me show you how we're gonna do this meat. You're gonna marinate it all together so that when you go to make it, um, it'll all be packed together and you'll have everything you need to just throw it on the grill. And your husband will say he made dinner, but you know the truth that you really made dinner. Don't you love when they grill? And they grill like a hamburger. And all of a sudden they've made dinner while you made hash brown casserole and a salad and some broccoli casserole. You make all the things and they make the hamburger. And somehow they get praised for making dinner. I love my man. He is an amazing, amazing, amazing cook when he wants to be. But the truth is most of the time when he's grilling, I do 90% of the work and he takes all the praise. And I'm always like, no, that's okay though because I don't wanna run the grill. So I guess in fairness, if it was up to me, my daughter just walked in, if it was up to me, the grilling would be really bad. So, she, so I'm glad God makes both of us. Cause I'd rather have the hash brown casserole than the hamburger in all honesty. Okay, where's my baby card? Is there a baby card over there in that one? Yeah. My daughter just walked in. Okay, here's our baby card. We're gonna pop this sucker in right there. This is gonna tell us what our directions are on day of cooking so that I don't have to sit there and guess what I'm doing and so that I know what that is. I double bag because I don't wanna deal with a freezer mess. Okay, y'all, that is four meals done. Come on down here. Oh, oh, I think I just lost y'all. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna come on down here. I'm gonna wash my hands real fast. We're gonna do the ham and Swiss. Okay, so. You what? No, 40 seconds. Oh, oh, do y'all wanna wait? Caroline just said we have 40 seconds on the Sopa Bia bars. Let's take them out of the oven. These were the ones we started with. Grilling is the real work. I know, thank you, Damon. Thank you, Damon, for saying that. I know grilling is the real work because I wouldn't know how to turn the grill on for honesty. So you're right. I apologize for that. I'm feeling guilty. When would we have a guy on here to tell me about that? You don't do the grilling either. Check under the foil for the first meal. I will check under the foil for the first meal and make sure we're good. Okay. Oh, y'all. Don't you wish you were here this morning at my house? Simple soap of pia bar. Smells like cinnamon heavenness to me right now. Oh my gosh. Recipe card under the chicken salad foil. I will check that. Check under your first recipe. There is a lost recipe stuck under the foil. Okay, I'll check it, y'all. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make up Oh, I'm excited to have breakfast, honey. What? That cinnamon stuff. That's breakfast? Well, sure it's breakfast. If I make five freezer meals, I can have those for breakfast. She doesn't think I can have that for breakfast. Okay, last recipe. Ham and Swiss croissant bake. Here we go, here's the card, right there. How many of y'all want this one and you're excited about this one? This one's a little bit different than what I expected. It's a great one to have for a brunch. If you've got people coming over, it's gonna be perfect. Um, Carolina, can you grab me a whisk, babe? This isn't breakfast. It is breakfast. It's the ham and Swiss crescent one. Remember we did it and it was more eggy than we expected? No. Oh, she's telling me I that simple soap. This. Well, that is breakfast for me this morning because I've suffered. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Come on over here with those eggs. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna take three crescent rolls and, I'm, and these are just store-bought crescent rolls. No, that whisk doesn't work, just use a fork. Store-bought crescent rolls right here. I'm gonna move the ketchup. We've got three of these. And again, this is your low health day. Unless you make it carb-free, this one you can't do carb-free. I got nothing for you, unless you can make a carb-free, a keto-friendly crescent roll, which is possible, totally. Um, thank you, ma'am. We've got three of these. Thank you, Gladys, for saying I'm doing a great job. 
When you're an adult, you can have whatever we want for breakfast. We deserve it. Bridget, amen, sister. You and me. I agree. She's crazy if she thinks we can. She's pointing her finger at me like, no, you can't. The best thing about being the grown-up is you own control of all the food. Um, in our house, that's become a big thing over COVID craziness for sure. Y'all don't forget, hit the sprinkle button and let somebody know if they could be blessed by having a bunch of awesome meals. I promise they will love them. Three croissants, cup of shredded Swiss cheese. Also, if you're making these at home, tell me that you're making these. You love the tenderloin, Denise. I love that. Tell me which ones you loved, which recipes you've loved so far. Um, okay, tear croissants. Top with ham and cheese. Okay, so this is an eight ounce package of chopped ham. This would be a great way to use extra Easter ham if you've got it left over in your freezer and you put it in there to save. Use that right up. Um, yeah, so definitely just take advantage of that. Then we're gonna add in a cup of shredded Swiss cheese or any cheese. I love me some Swiss cheese. Um, Y'all tell me, what are your favorite types of cheeses? I really like Swiss, I like provolone. I don't like American at all. I don't really like cheddar. I like stuff that's a little more, a little gentler, I guess. Then we're gonna mix together six large eggs right here. She's right, this is the worst whisk ever. We got this at TJ Maxx with a cute thing at Christmas time. <laughs> it's a terrible whisk, I need to throw it away. Okay, we've got that, and now we're gonna add in a cup of half and half. You could also use whipping cream if you've got that. It's just half and half. And then we're gonna add in a quarter teaspoon salt, which I have to find. It's somewhere on this countertop, but I have no idea where. I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate right there. A little bit of pepper, which I gotta find where the pepper is at. Again, it's somewhere on my countertop. It is lost forever. There it is, there's the pepper. I am gonna check on the, I'm not gonna put too much pepper in because my family is not into real peppery stuff. If your family likes peppery, do more, but it's just a quarter teaspoon. Oop, that's probably already too much. I'm gonna add this over. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cover this right up here. Hang on, let's see. I'm gonna cover this in the with the egg and half and half mixture. How many of y'all are making these at home right now and have done them too? I know we have had such positive feedback. We are almost sold out of the physical cards. So if you think you're gonna want the physical cards, please, please buy it. I get so many emails from people later saying, Laurie, I didn't buy it because I didn't think I'd need it. And now I really wish I had it and I can't do anything. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, I am butchering my boss saran wrap today. No, I just butchered that, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, so there's that. I've got my baby card, I've got my recipe card. I'm gonna get my foil. I can't stand that. I'm trying to just go fast for video, but that's just not gonna work. And I know I'm gonna get Kate, I'll get Kate emails from people saying, you didn't cover it. So here you go, for all of those of you who are worried that I was not gonna cover it, I promise I'll do it right. Thankfully, most of you guys are the sweetest people. I very rarely get mean, mean, nasty, mean, nasty comments, and I'm so thankful that you guys are so generous because we're all just doing our best. There we go. Okay, I just did five meals and a dessert in about 30 minutes. Not too shabby. Again, I'm gonna tape this on right here. I love the baby cards. I love that Cherie, my friend Cherie named them the baby cards the other day and I was like, that's what they are. We were trying to figure out how to explain what these cards are and I was like, that's what they are. They're the baby cards. There you go. Helps prevent freezer burn. Yes, thank you. Why double wrap? Because it helps prevent freezer burn. So that's, you probably could do it without double wrapping, but I wanna be on the safe side because I would hate to make all these recipes and end up with a ton of freezer burn. Okay, so come on over here. I'm gonna show you what I did and I'll show you what we're offering and I'll answer any questions. You have our last day of our freezer cooking challenge is tomorrow. How many of y'all are gonna be sad tomorrow 
when this ends. My friend Sheree is doing live tomorrow because I'm traveling for the day, so I will not be here with you, which makes me sad. Sheree will be here, and honestly, she's way better than me. Like, she's way better than me, so you'll get way better tips from her on cooking than you ever will from me. Okay, let me show you what Sheree, we have made today. We have made the Sopapilla bars, the ham and Swiss croissant bake, the hot chicken salad, I'm gonna literally pack these and take them on vacation. Like I'm totally just gonna sit there and just take them on vacation with me. Dinner is gonna be made. I can't even wait. I'll check that card. Y'all told me that one of those, there's an extra card under there, so I'll check that. If you order right now, this is what comes with the freezer meal pack. You get two of these cool thingamoppers. People ask me all the time what these things are. They are freezer bag stands, so it will include this if you order the, phys the physical product sent to you. You will get a cute little recipe card holder. You will get a cute little bag. Cute little bag. It's cute. You'll like it. You will get inside the bag comes. I already have these open, so I'm not going to reopen that one. So I'm going to save them to give to a friend. Um, 12 weeks of recipe cards and grocery lists. On the back of the tab, someone wanted me to point out on the team, they were like, Laura, you gotta make sure you tell these people these things because they're not gonna know and then they're gonna be sad that they didn't know. So, actually, let's just do this right. Let me just show you week 11. So this is week 11. This is what they look like. This is your freezer meal and you card. On the back, it tells you all the things to do to prep. So it says, chop your onion, do your celery, do your carrots, do your chuck roast. It tells you exactly what to do. How many of you guys, have you guys all caught that? If you've got the cards, have you seen that? You wanna check that out. Then you've got a dry erasable grocery list. So you can use this again and again forever. I bought extras, well, I bought, I bought them for myself, like I made the product, but I literally ordered from the company that's doing all of our shipping, I ordered an extra four so that my grandkids can have these one day. But you can use these forever and ever and ever. They're amazing. Um, and then you're gonna get the recipes and there's, oh, and then, so there's your five recipes, you pull out the recipes, and then you're gonna get the baby cards which quite frankly, the baby cards are the geniusness of all the things. Basically, you can stick these in and you're gonna know when you pull out that pesto tortellini bake, on the back it says how to cook it from frozen, so you don't have to start doing that. Yeah, you didn't know that, Tiffany, you are so welcome. Yes, you guys, see the back, look at the back. You can also put notes to yourself about which things you like and which you didn't. So my team was like, Laurie, make sure you tell them because they won't remember to look. So, and it has the one thing too that we didn't have in the slow cooker cards, if you got our slow cooker set. Um, it has a table of contents. Mine is a mess because I use them all day, every day. There is a table of contents and it's really cute. It's really pretty makes me happy because I designed it and I made it. What is so fun about this for me is that I honestly like feel like I'm in your all's kitchen because I see so many of your comments that when I made and designed all these things, I'm like, what would Bridget like? And what would Susie like? And what would Cindy like? And I'm like thinking of you guys in my head and thinking what would make their lives a little bit easier. And it really does make it fun to get to make products for you. Phew! Now you have an idea to start your own business. Listen, Jolene, I don't know who just said that. It looks like you were replying to Michelle. Here is somebody needs to do this job, and I won't even be mad if you use my recipes. If you struggle with finding a job right now and you don't know what to do, all you need to do to make money, all you need to do to make money in 2020 is find a service that somebody needs and do it. If you made these recipes for people, y'all get the menu plans, use my recipes. Don't come up with that on your own. We still, we'll send you the PDF. Oh, as soon as you order, you also get the PDF, or you can buy just the PDF. Buy the PDF and make these recipes and deliver them to people. Charge them 20 bucks a meal. Y'all, think of what service you would provide to someone who can't have home-cooked meals because they're busy and crazy. If you could hand deliver them dinner with freezer meals, it's a thing, I'm just saying. It's a great idea. Somebody needs to go do that. Uh, thank you so much, Rochelle. Rachel says she's cooking for her elderly mom and this helps so much. I am so thankful. You love, I love the table of contents too, Debbie. We sat there. Do you know how hard it is to get that much information onto one card? And when you, I know when I look at this stuff, I'm like, and you also get some free blank ones that I've got to mess on. It is so hard to get this amount of content onto a card. And one thing that was super important to us when we were making the cards is that the whole recipe be on one side. Because I hate when you're sitting there like this, flipping back and back. And that's why one side is just the name. And then one side is this. They are also color coordinated. You made it last night. Slow down. Bobby, thank you for the reminder. 
I get so excited and my brain goes so fast and I have so many words I want to tell you. So I will try to slow down. Thank you for that reminder. I forget a lot. You just bought five for your daughters. Linda, I love that. I heard one person listen to this idea. This was genius. She, her daughters were doing it on Zoom. She bought them for all of her girls and over Zoom, they were freezer menu planning together. How fun is that? Like, I just love it. You're cooking two batches, one for your family and one for your mom and dad who made the meals. These are great for college kids. I'm gonna make these in the fall to send back with my son to college. They're great for college kids. They're great for families. They're great for parents who are struggling. Um, it is so easy. The one-sided card is great. Thank you, Lizzie. You're a nurse and work 12 hour shifts, Shree. This is going to be a game changer. Shree, I promise these will be a game changer in your home. They will like, make your life easier and better it's gonna help you a ton you will have one day of misery when you're making the meals so i'm just i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i'm exhausted at the end of when i finish this up i'm about ready to cry because i'm exhausted but then when you just pull out dinner all summer long and you don't have to stress over anything it's gonna make your life so happy are the freezer meals the same as the crock pot no they are totally different than the crock pot we do have the grilling ones which will be coming out in um we hope they'll be here in july they will come in a box like this. This is a new idea that we're just coming out with. Um, so that will be the summer. They're not grilling. They're the summer menu plan. So those will be coming next. Um, these, once they run out of stock, I think they'll be out of stock in the next, I'm sure they'll be out of stock in the next week. Um, when they run out of stock, we will not get these back till September. Summer series will launch in July, maybe June if we can get them fast enough. And then slow cooker and freezer will be here in September again. So do you get a PDF? Yes. As soon as you order, you get a PDF for sure. Let me answer any other questions y'all have. Um, as the second you order, you get all the PDF files. Um, and you can also just order the PDF. If you're like, you know what? I love printing my stuff at home. I've got a great printer. The quality of the cards is really nice. So you're going to like the cards if you get them, but totally fine just to do, um, the PDF version for sure. Um, yeah, we'll send that out to you and you'll be included in the, um, private Facebook group, which honestly is worth more money than everything I can give you. This Facebook group of the sweetest moms ever making dinner every night is just a great place to be. You can't wait for the grilling cards. They're summer cards. My team keeps saying, Laurie, they're not, they're not all grilling. They're summer. So think summer salads, you'll like grill one meal. You might grill chicken one day and then you can make a recipe with it again. So it's really fun. Aw, oh, Stephanie, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate you. And I'm so glad that what we do helps here. You love that in your house with the only two of us, these recipes make twice the meals. I love that. Will you have the recipe boxes for the grilling? Every other meal plan that we ever come out with forevermore will always have a box. We will not do any more. And it's not, it's not really to give you a pretty box. It's mostly just to protect the cards because the cards go through a lot of shipping and we want them to come to you in great shape. How do you get all the products? Click the link in the video to get those. Information on the freezer is all we have available right now. The slow cooker will be the same as the last slow cooker. We are adding desserts. If you had last slow cooker ones and want desserts, um, we're gonna offer you the option to just buy the dessert cards to add to your recipe tin. You can't wait for the summer series. You love it. What size is the pan? Nine by 13 are all the pans. You're excited for the summer recipes. You have the crock pot and you have used them so much. I love that. And you can reuse these guys. Our goal is to come up with about maybe, I don't know, six to eight different recipe sets that you can enjoy. Um, yeah, when will you get these, the boxes for these cards? Ellen with the summer series, the boxes. Every time I ship you a set of cards going forward, you'll get the box. This set does not have a box in it, but the next sets will not have these. The next sets will not have the, um, what's it called? The freezer bag stands or the cute bags or the wood block. So you have to buy that all separately from now on because we're just trying to make it easier. Could we get the wood, wet, wooden measuring spoons? They're not my wooden measuring spoons. They're my friends, Andrea's. I actually talked to her to see if she would possibly let us put some of those in the shop so you guys can eat, order those easily. Phew. Low carb. I know, Jennifer. We are waiting for the slow cooker, the low cow. This was just happy food. Like, this is great. Anyways, you're looking for the forward to the summer cards. When was slow cooker? Slow cooker will be out in the fall, probably September. The people who order first have the best chance of getting them. Those people go on our list first. So we sold out a ton the first day. We do a one day only, like, 16 hour sale. So we sell most in that first 10, 16 hours and then we kind of sell the rest. And then once they're gone, like I said, we've been, we've had these for two weeks and they'll sell out this weekend for sure. Maybe today we only had like, 
we had a few hundred left this morning. So I think they'll hopefully, I would love for them, if y'all could buy them and they could sell out today, it would take a lot of stress off of me. So just say, go ahead and buy your cards if you're even thinking about it, because we only have 300 left. Um, yeah, and I want you guys to get them. Will you have empty, extra empty boxes? We will not, but we may have tins available. So we are hoping to get new tins and the design of the tin. I have the design done and we just have to find the, um, what's the, um, the manufacturer for the tin. Someone said a PPP t-shirt. I thought about a PPP apron. The only reason I don't want to do an apron is because, um, there's a million places you can get a cute apron from. So I'd rather give you stuff that nobody else does. Like, I don't want to make stuff for you. I mean, I can't make an apron any cheaper than Amazon does. So, phew. Okay, you just got yours, Carrie. Thank you so much for ordering, laminating the baby cards. I love that idea, Donna. Will there be new, not new slow cooker, same series as before? Just got the wooden measuring spoons and you love them. Have slow cooker and freezer ones. We will get those in the fall. Holiday meals tree is hopefully, that's like a 2021 goal. So hang on, sister, we're getting there. Okay, what about a smock? A smock would be so cute. It's, I gotta think of something different. I'll be thinking a smock's a cute idea. Nobody else has a smock. Hmm. Let me think on that one. Okay, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. I am tickled to have these meals done and I hope you love dinner at your house. I'll take a breath, Kelly. Phew. I feel like I gotta answer all the questions. And my son said, he was sitting here watching me the other day. He said, mom, your brain goes fast. I was like, it does. There's people hanging out with me. You guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Be sure to be back on tomorrow morning. Shree will be making week seven and week seven will be the shepherd's pie. I'm glad she has to do that one. I'm afraid that one's hard. Shepherd's pie, pork chop, five ingredient pork chops, chicken taco bowls, quick vegetable beef soup, Easy Baked Ziti and Key Lime Pie. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.